Yes, Uncle Chant. Hey guys, Uncle Chant. Uh, look, uh, DC Films and Water Brothers, they keep announcing stuff. Doesn't sound like it's, uh, it's just, God, get your house in order, man. <laughs> like, I'm a big DC Comics fan, but I keep hearing these new movies being announced or currently in the works or in development or god damn like today <sighs> supergirl film and development for warner brothers let's have a look uh warner brothers and dc are reportedly working on a feature film based on the popular superhero with 22 jump street writer oren uziel or uziel i've no idea how to say that name uh, look supergirl cool you know i don't have a problem with the character or anything but if you're having a hard enough time getting a man of steel 2 or a, a superman movie sequel in the can in development already then what's what's the go in actually just actively approaching supergirl like even deadline are reporting on it exclusive blah 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 breaking jeff snyder david sims Warner brothers developing dc a movie about a brand name what a brand name superhero with nobody with a screenwriter attached and no idea if it would be part of the yeah so even that person's having some kind of doubts um this person's being a bit more optimistic about it this could be the coolest way to finally be brainiac then team up with cavill's superman a sequel i don't want that i don't um i just like this movie here this superman um uh, film it was pretty good uh, I, go check out there's superman batman apocalypse if they follow that story where it introduced uh, i think that was in year 2000 or something like that where they introduced supergirl into the comics in that continuity that was a really good story uh really really good they made a movie out of it uh, animated movie um I don't know why I looked, at, looked over there. I thought I had a DVD or something. I do. There's a Blu-ray somewhere. Uh, it's really, really good. So check that one out. If that's how they want to approach Supergirl movie, I'd be down for that. I really would. I just... I want... a uh, I want a Superman movie. I want a sequel. Man of Steel is... I still say it's a masterpiece. Um, Henry Cavill is the best Superman we've had in decades. I stand by that. I like his acting ability, um, no matter what some people say. <laughs> um, hope we get a cool variation of Kryptonian suit and suit. Uh, well, I mean, depends on how they introduce her. If she comes from, like, if she's just been lost in time across space in her Kryptonian pod, then clearly she would have some kind of Kryptonian suit. Um, da da da. Hope it's not just an orange one, make her relevant. Blah blah blah. Well, that, I mean, they've had a hard time even getting Superman relevant. I mean, they screwed him over at, for a Superman franchise. I mean, Man of Steel was fan fucking tastic. Batman the Superman, I still stand, is one of the best films ever made. Uh, I just you can't you can't argue me on that because my mind is set. <laughs> you know, I love that movie so much. It's so fucking good. Uh, but I do feel that we missed the chance of getting a Man of Steel sequel, like a, a purely Man of Steel sequel, which could have introduced Batman, uh, but maybe not have just been such a strong part. Anyway, I'm not gonna, not gonna de de uh, deliberate on making claims that BVS is, is not valid or not. I mean, I love BVS. And I just, you know, I can't stress that enough. I'm so glad we got that film because I don't think we're ever gonna get another one like it. Um, don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Uh, oh, I love this artist, Art Germ. So fucking good. Um, you know, just really good artwork I'm seeing here. Look, um, yeah, I can't see Supergirl as any other than M Melissa Benoist. Or Benoit Benoist, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, that Supergirl show, I mean, it's still going and relatively popular in certain communities. You know, I just don't think it's needed. Like, Supergirl... He's a great character, but I don't think has the same, doesn't have the same, what do you call it, history, like poignancy, or embedded in pop culture knowledge 
that Superman can bring? Like, it doesn't have the same weight, I guess, that Superman does. Um, they've rebooted Supergirl several times in the comics, where it's even hard to know which one is which when you go looking back. Uh, I didn't mind the new 52 Supergirl. Uh, this Rebirth Supergirl I didn't care for because it got a bit too... Uh, I didn't like it. There was too, too much SJW meddling in it. Um, yeah, look. I think Supergirl, I don't think it needs a feature film. Maybe as like a supporting character. And it's not sexist to say. It's just... What would you get in a Supergirl film that you wouldn't get uh, with another Kryptonian that was flying around with superpowers but just happened to be a male? Like... Supergirl doesn't have the same regal outlook or the um what's the word I'm looking for I can't think of the word I'm looking for right now but weight I think is the only one that really fits with what I'm trying to say here uh even some people here are saying like it already has a show mind you people saying that about Flash as well Flash has a show everybody's getting a movie but Flash is one of the big seven you know one of the bigger characters Supergirl's not one thing I appreciate, Supergirl is near universally given more narrative importance than Superboy. True, Superboy's kind of lost the time. See, look, I mean, they do everything they need to on this show. It's great that Walter Hamada is building the future of DC around a series of female-fronted franchises, yeah. Uh, but it feels like there's one foot in the past, DCU, and, not, and one foot in the future with a weird disconnect between two. Cautiously optimistic. So, I mean, it's already happening. One thing I do agree with, it's cool to see some of the other female heroines coming out. Like Birds of Prey, um, I'll do another video on that shortly, but uh, I'm very keen on that one. That could be really, really cool. Not just a Suicide Squad, but females, but it could be actually really, really, really good. Black Canary, God damn it! cast something that I, I, I want that casting to be spot on perfect. Because Black Canary is one of the best DC characters. Um, Plus, I have a soft spot for that canary. Oh my god, the, uh, the fish nets. Um, yeah, look, I don't know what what much more to add here. Uh, I just I don't think it's needed, and it, I don't want to sound sexist in saying that. But when 2013 is the last Superman film and is one of the pillars of D DC Comics and Warner Brothers, you know, like get your house in order first. Get another Superman movie out the gate introduce supergirl in that one somehow like towards the end of it or you know make the man of steel sequel a superman movie but supergirl just appearing like crash landing on earth and then discovering each other in the kryptonian heritage and getting her used to the planet like just go look at that superman batman apocalypse that movie should be Either, if they want to throw Supergirl into the mix, that's what they should be targeting. Because that movie, and the comic, the graphic novel, trade, go pick it up, it's really good. <sighs> if they did that, I'd be happy, you know? Um, that makes sense if they want to continue on with Cavill, but introduce a Supergirl. But I just don't think that we got the franchise that we needed, or the one that I wanted out of Cavill's Superman. Mm, just, give, just give me a Man of Steel 2 first. Just give me another straight Cavill movie, you know, and then let's let's explore, you know. God damn it! <laughs> uh, I don't want to be sour about it, and I'm probably gonna get some hate um, saying that I, you know, I'm sexist or something. But that's not what I'm trying to do here, and I, that's why I've said a few times in this video I don't want to sound sexist because I'm not trying to be. I just I just don't think Supergirl. Even the show doesn't even have the highest ratings, you know, like, and it, it, it didn't hold me. No, and I'm a DC Comics fan. I, I don't know. Well, what, what do you guys think? Am I, am I being a, li a bit too harsh? Am I, you know, should I just let it happen or, you know, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think I should be thinking because I'm just on the fence, really. On the fence leaning to the point where I just don't want it. But if this... If this is the only thing that's going to help me get another Cavill Superman film, I'm going to have to stomach it, aren't I? Yeah. Can't stop looking at these photos. I'm just... I know it's only an announcement. 
it's not like there's no director attached there's no they haven't cast they haven't casted the movie yet you know so it's, it's jumping the gun a bit but i was just like damn it <laughs> damn it god you know i know cavill's kind of moving on now he's, he's doing bigger films and stretching his opportunities you know his best buds are tom cruise now and if tom cruise is um has any weight in hollywood still which he does um he's very tight with cavill speaks highly of him cavill could very much just be on his own thing now which is gonna break my heart <laughs> but whatever anyway guys um yeah let me know what you think uh have a look at some more extra news that happened today righto toodaloos